that was a really fun project. It was kind of like a ragtag group of actually springboard folks. It was brought on by a nonprofit and hosted by DevPost. And they wanted to know what were some contributing factors to pollution in the Chesapeake Bay. They had a lot of things you could work on in the hackathon. We chose this particular one in predicting the pollution because it was more of the machine learning piece. Again, it was a ragtag group of us. None of us were true environmental scientists. We had somebody who had some background in physical sciences. So he kind of gave us insight into you know how folks maybe test pollution in waters and what was kind of normal and standard. And so we used him a lot. We did a lot of research and then we just started really building models to see how we could you know, answer this question. It was a lot of data we used, but we kind of uh, grouped together testing samples from the nonprofit and then maybe two or three different sources of public data from anywhere from like the weather data or um, test weather monitoring stations, pollution from factories and geospatial stuff. And so we used, we put all that data together um, to to you know, help spit out these predictions and and model the pollution for the bay. I think it was like two month long project. And so with any area in, in the Chesapeake Bay, we were then able to predict what would the pollution be to a pretty good degree. And then based off of those areas, we were able then to look at, you know, what were some contributing factors. We wanted, we were super surprised and excited. It was super fun and kind of reaffirming that, you know, we had the, the data and the, the skills and experience to put something like this together, not knowing the subject matter as closely as, you know, you would hope. And I think that really aligns with the, the way data science is today.